you're for sale by owner and you're getting ready to hold an open house, I wanted to remind you to make sure you run it like a business. Here's what I mean. I was in an open house on Saturday. I was scouting out properties for some out-of-town clients. And I was in the house and two parties came in after I had entered. He was getting some good foot traffic, which was great. I noticed a couple things. The seller did not introduce himself. He didn't ask the buyers what their name was. He did not have a signing sheet ready. And he didn't have um, flyers with all the pertinent information. And so here's a bunch of things to consider. You want to have the human interaction take place between yourself and the buyers because it just makes people feel comfortable and you know it, it's often people feel awkward so when you introduce yourself and, and 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 then you get their name and information all of a sudden it becomes a human interaction and people lower their guards and you know, people start to like each other and then people feel comfortable while they're in your house. People are feeling a little at odds and, and, and uncomfortable when the seller's in the home. Anyways, always, definitely. I have some buyer clients who will be frustrated after going into a, a house and the seller's there. They're like, hey man, I, don't, don't bring me to a house where the seller's gonna be there, literally. That, that's how strident some people can be. So please be aware of that. Um, in terms of a flyer, well, you know what? Sometimes people are out there and they just see your sign and they pop in. And if they don't have information, they, they, they may not even recall the pertinent facts. Maybe they didn't write it down. Maybe they're in the midst of a busy day. Lots of times, because they are, you know, a little distracted and a little intimidated with being inside a veritable stranger's house, they don't really recall everything. So your flyer should have some good pictures, have a little map, you know, as much information as you can pour into that flyer as possible. Definitely have some type of a hyperlink to your Zillow page, which I hope you're listing your property there. Um, and the last thing is getting all their information. See, here's the thing. Most people who are in the buyer marketplace, I call it that they raise their hand. So raising your hand can be a phone call, can be a click, can be a text, a query. What a for sale by owner will often do, and a lot of realtors actually, you know, who don't have a lot of tenure, they think, ah, this is it, boom. Here we go, giddy up. This this buyer is is the buyer. They're gonna make an offer, and we're gonna move on. Typically not. The majority of people who hold their hand up in the marketplace and and identify themselves through some type of a behavioral response mechanism as being a so-called buyer are not necessarily a prospect. They're more of a suspect. And I don't mean that to be derogatory, but this is just the business. This is reality. And so as a for sale by owner, you gotta understand that you need to collect their information because they may not be ready today. And maybe you're a strident for sale by owner and you have it priced high right now and you're lingering on the market because of that and uh, all of a sudden 30 and then 60, 90 days and you have it sold. Well, maybe you're gonna go through some subsequent price reductions, and if you have that contact information from the people who came into your open house, especially if you had some kind of a good exchange, a, a kind of a convivial uh, dialogue, you know, you got along, they liked it, they expressed interest, but they never came back at you with an offer or anything. Well, you gotta track them down and say, hey, I've lowered my price. now. You see, that buyer, when you first met them 60, 90 days ago, they were not really a prospect yet. They were still just a suspect. Maybe they were just doing some preliminary market analysis, 
becoming familiar with what's going on. But now all of a sudden, 90 days later, they are ready. They are serious as a heart attack. But the problem is, is they've forgotten all about you. So you gotta stay in front of them. You gotta say, hey, thank you so much for coming to my open house. Really value the opportunity to show you what we're offering. Um, by the way, we've had a price reduction. Yeah, this is the game. This is how you win. Hey, good luck, happy selling. If you're looking for some more tips and advice on how to sell by owner, check out our For Sale By Owner Handbook. It is chock full with pertinent information that's going to help you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.